Oh, say can you see, I hope you're ready for a presidential overload. For our last stop on our roadside adventure, we're going to visit the White House and the Lincoln Memorial and Mount Rushmore. I bet you'll be surprised to find out that they're all in one place. Hi, I'm Joy England. I'm the coordinator here at the President's Hall of Fame in Claremont, Florida. When you come to visit the President's Hall of Fame, you should start with the building of the White House. It's animated. You're going to see the brick layers um, making the red brick. The White House is lined with red brick. You're going to see George Washington. It's the day that he's visiting with James Hoban, the architect who designed the White House. Construction of the White House started in 1792, but didn't finish until after Washington's term in the year 1800. So, although he was the first president of the United States, John Adams was actually the first to live in the White House. Sorry, George. There have been times when it was called the President's House, uh, the Executive uh, Mansion, and Theodore Roosevelt gave it the name the White House, and it has stuck over the years. Call it what you want, the White House is an American icon. And if you've ever wanted to take a peek behind its closed doors, just look inside its scale model replica to get a glimpse into the President's House like you've never seen before. Everything is done in miniature exactly as you would see it at the White House. You have the West Wing where the President's Oval Office is, President's Cabinet Room. In the replica, over 70 miniature rooms of the White House are accurate, even down to the televisions and picture frames. Peer into the tiny windows and you can see details that you would easily miss in a real visit to Washington, D.C. I guess you could say the big things really do come in small packages. Here at the President's Hall of Fame, we have the Resolute Desk. Um, it's actually uh, a reproduction of the desk that's at the White House. It was given to the White House by Queen Victoria when Rutherford Hayes was president. And it was made from a ship, the Resolute and there is a second one in England that matches the one that we have at our White House. It's been used by uh, quite a few of our presidents. When John F. Kennedy was president, his son, John Jr., played under the desk. A lot of people remember that, and they think of the Resolute Desk as being the Kennedy Desk. Also, while you're here, you can learn all about the men who have worked in the Oval Office. That's right, all 44 presidents. I mean, 43? 44? I might need some help here. Here at the President's Hall of Fame, we have all 43 presidents in replica. Actually, Grover Cleveland was our 22nd president. Benjamin Harrison ran after Grover Cleveland and became our 23rd president. And Grover Cleveland became our 24th president. He ran again. So actually, we've had 43 presidents. The President's Hall of Fame is everything America, and we mean everything. Here you can see replicas of American monuments, like the original ROCK in the USA, Mount Rushmore. You can visit the White House, and you don't have to have a security check. You can visit uh, Mount Rushmore. You don't have to go to South Dakota. You can also visit the Lincoln Memorial. We have the replica of the Lincoln Memorial, so we have tried to cover as many things as we can of history so that everybody will enjoy their visit here with us from the White House replica to Mount Rushmore and the Statue of Liberty. Everybody needs to come and visit the President's Hall of Fame. You have so much history under one roof. You have the First Lady gowns, you have your presidents, you have the White House replica, you have the building of the White House. It all goes together, it all brings history together. When you go to the White House in Washington, D.C., you're only going to be able to see five rooms when you tour it. Here, you're going to get to see the private quarters of the presidents. You're going to be able to sit at the presidential desk, and you're going to be able to enjoy history and walk in history. We've never had anybody come in here that hasn't enjoyed themselves. And the people who come here, uh, it renews patriotism in them. So if you find yourself craving a big old slice of American pie, Stop by the President's Hall of Fame where you'll be sure to see stars and stripes forever.